hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem we have x to the power of 3 minus 3x three equals negative 2 okay um the first thing i will do is to bring 2 to the left so we have x to the power of 3 minus 3x three then this becomes plus 2 okay this 2 comes here to become plus 2 because it's minus on the right so this is now equal to 0 because 2 has moved to the left and there's nothing again on the right and if you remove 0 from here then it will no longer be an equation that means you're removing the equality sign now what do we do we look for two numbers that will represent what we have in here and it will still not affect the equation so we're going to have x to the power of 3 minus 4x then i have plus 1x then i have plus 2 equals 0. okay so from here we can now group into two and factorize so i will factorize x to the power of 3 minus 4x we'll factorize this separately and then we have x plus 2 to factorize and this is equal to 0. now from the first bracket x is common to both of them so x is a common factor now we have x squared minus 4. Close this. Then plus, here there's nothing really common, so you can write your x plus 2. So here we have um, 0. Now from the inside, we can express this as difference of two squares. So we have x into x squared minus 2 squared then plus open bracket x plus 2 this is equal to 0. from here now we are going to express this as um, difference of two squares a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b into a plus b so i'm going to apply these same standards to this so we, ha we have x first into bracket now, in place of this, I'll write it in this form. So we have x minus 2 into x plus 2. Then plus here we have x plus 2 in bracket, and everything is equal to 0. Now, let me look for what is common to them so I can factorize. x minus 2 is here, but it's not there. x plus 2 is here, and it's there. So x plus 2 is a common factor then here i have x into bracket x minus 2 then i have plus here now x minus 2 x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 will give 1 so close this and equate to 0. now what will i do we can now say that x plus 2 will be alone and then open this bracket we get x squared minus 2x then we have plus 1 then close this and still equate this to 0 remember we are solving this completely right okay so in that case we will now say it is either x plus 2 is equal to 0 so that x will be equal to 0 minus 2 and then x is equal to minus 2 so this is the first value of x to get the other value of x i'm going to pick this quadratic expression x squared minus 2 x plus 1. okay so now that i equate this to zero it becomes a quadratic equation and we can solve this using any of the method now let's see if this can be factorized if we are going to factorize this we look for two numbers to multiply that will give us minus Okay, it will give us plus 1 if we multiply them. And then we put both of them together to get minus 2. The two numbers will be minus 1 
and minus one. Okay, this is because this is because minus one times minus one will give us plus one. Then minus one plus minus one will give us minus two. So this means that the factors here will be x minus one into x minus one. So this will be the two factors and we equate both of them to zero. If you multiply this together, you're going to have this, okay, being equal to zero. Now, we are saying that it is either x minus one is equal to zero or x minus one is equal to zero. Mind you, we are having the same thing. So we can say x minus one equals zero. X will now be equal to zero plus one. And our x is now equal to one. Okay, so even if we work on this, x will still remain one. Now let's bring the solutions together. Or you can even say x is equal to one twice x is equal to 1 twice. Now, the two solutions now will be x equals 1 and then x equals, um, what did we get before? We got negative 2. Now, what is the original equation? The equation is x to the power of 3 minus 3x equals negative 2. Now, let me put in the value of x as 1. So, we'll have 1 to the power of 3 minus 2 multiplied by, okay, this is 3, minus 3 multiplied by x, and x is 1. Remember, this is the same thing as 1 to the power of 3 is 1, minus 3 times 1 is 3, and then 1 minus 3 is minus 2. And that is what we had on the right. So this is to confirm that x to be equal to 1 is very satisfying. Now, the equation still remains x to the power of 3 minus 3x three equals negative 2. Now, let's use the second value of x, which is minus 2. So that means I'll be having minus 2 to the power of 3. Remember, if you do not put this in bracket, then you will be getting the wrong answer. So we have negative 3 into bracket. X is still negative. Okay, X is still negative 2, right? And then, will this give us minus 2? That is what we are trying to look at, right? Now, minus 2 to the power of 3 will give us minus 8. Then minus 3 times minus 2 will give us plus 6 and minus 8 plus 6 will give us minus 2 and that is still what we had on the right hand side now this is also to confirm that x equals negative 2 is also satisfying thank you for watching and if you love this video please do something to make me know that thank you god bless